Hello everyone! I love steam trains, so today is my lucky day! I'm in North Wales to go on a ride through the Snowdonia Mountains and learn all about these amazing machines! Woohoo! This train is just leaving the station now! Look at all that steam coming out! It's no wonder they're called steam trains! Many years ago, these trains were used to transport slate from up high in the mountains, but now they're just used to take lucky passengers on amazing train rides. Come on, let's get on board! These old fashioned carriages are very comfy and you can even get yummy hot chocolate served straight to your seats. This train is the best! Just look at the amazing views out of the windows as we steam our way through the Snowdonia Mountains. Wow, it's beautiful here! We're all very clean and comfortable in here, but I wonder what it's like for the driver in the cabin up front. The part of the train that does all of the hard work is called the locomotive and it's up to the driver and the fireman to keep the locomotive running and pulling all of those carriages and passengers. Steam trains run on coal and the fireman has to shovel lots of it into the firebox to keep the engine running. This is Ian and he's the driver of this locomotive. Ian. Please can you tell us how coal makes the train go? So this is the coal we burn on our steam engine. Put it in the fire there. And we burn it and that creates lots and lots of heat. And that heat we use to boil this water. Um, it's just like boiling your kettle at home. It makes the steam come out the top but we capture that steam and we send it to the front of this steam logo and that makes us go. To make sure there's enough coal for the journey ahead, the crew have to load up the train's coal from the coal store at the station. This is hard, tiring and dirty work. All of the crew that work on the train are volunteers too, which means they don't get paid. They do it because they love the trains. This is Claire and she's the fireman. It's her job to load the coal into the firebox and keep that fire roaring. And what I'm doing now is I'm making my fire bigger because we're pulling a very big train today. So it needs a nice, big, very hot fire to be able to do that. I love steam trains because I just find them magical. As well as loading the coal into the train, it's just as important to make sure the train has plenty of water in the tank because this is what gets turned into steam which pushes the train forwards. The crew are topping up this train's tank with water now. Wow, this one's thirsty! Ian, how do you drive a steam train? We drive a steam train by making it go faster like that and then this is the brake. And this is what we use to stop ourselves. So this lever here makes us go either forwards or backwards. And that is how you drive a steam train. Let's take a look at the different parts of a steam train. Here's the cab. This is where the driver and fireman drive the train and load the fire. Inside here is the firebox, which is really, really hot. Above the firebox sits the boiler, where the water is stored. Because this is right above the fire, the water boils and turns into steam. The steam is then forced down through a pipe and pushes something called a piston, which then drives the wheels forwards or backwards. This is the chimney, which is where the smoke from the firebox can escape. And most importantly, this is the whistle. The whistle works when I pull this handle 
And that means that steam is going up to the whistle and making the sound. Ian's connecting a carriage to the locomotive. This is called coupling. Because these trains are very old, they take a lot of looking after, which is why the Festiniog and Welsh Highland Railway have their own special garage with an amazing team of engineers, mechanics, joiners and painters. This place is a hive of activity. In here, they're building a brand new carriage from scratch. And in here, this is where the beautiful details on the outside of the carriage are painted on by hand. Well, it's time for me to say goodbye to these beautiful trains. Thanks very much to all the team at the Festinog and Welsh Highland Railway for teaching us all about steam trains. See you again soon. Bye. Mia the mini digger is helping her big brother Danny dig holes on the building site today. You've been working very hard. I think it's time for a rest. Aren't you going for a break too, Mia? What's wrong? You look sad. Oh, I see. You want to dig a hole as big as Danny's. Don't be so glum, Mia. You're good at lots of other things. Um, Mia, I'm not sure that's a good idea. You're a little digger, and that's a very big hole. Danny's a bigger digger, so it's easier for him to dig big holes. A mini digger just can't dig a hole that deep, a hole that big. But Mia digs three days and nights until she disappears from sight. Her scoop gets caught upon some rubble. Uh-oh, I think that Mia's in trouble. There's no one around to hear her shout. Oh, how can we get Mia out? This looks like a job for Helen the helicopter. Go, go, Helen! We're coming, Mia! Hold on tight, Mia! Garage roof open at speed! It's time to help a vehicle in need! Let's take a good look at you and see what's wrong. Hmm. It looks like your scoop's broken. And one of your tracks. This looks like a job for the mechanicals. They'll get you fixed in no time. Go, go mechanicals! You tried to copy Danny, but you came unstuck. And you ended up trapped in the muck. Your older brother's much, much bigger. Remember, you're a mini digger. We'll swap your scoop and fix your track. And soon you'll be on your way back. There you are, as good as new. Now, Danny has a job for you. Danny needs to dig a small hole in the floor of this new building. He may be really good at digging big holes, but he's too large to fit through the doors and his scoop is far too big. I wonder who he could get to do the job. That's right, it's the perfect job for you, Mia. I told you that you were good at other things. Danny the digger's big and can dig big holes. Mia's small and is the right size to dig smaller holes in hard to reach places. Good job, Mia. 
I knew you could do it. There's a perfect job for each of you here at the construction site. Hello everyone. I'm travelling around on a very special fun bus today. This double-decker bus has been transformed into a soft play party bus. This is Paul and he's the driver of the bus. He drives to lots of different places for children's birthday parties. You can have a party anywhere. Here comes the bright yellow party bus now. Welcome aboard the party bus. There are two floors on this bus, a downstairs and an upstairs. Let's climb the stairs and take a look upstairs first. Whoa, it's so much fun up here. There's a tunnel, a rope bridge, These are called biffers and bashers. Hey, Red Mechanical, how did you get in here? Red Mechanical never misses a party. To get down, we can either go back down the stairs or we can go down the mega green slide. Go on, Red, you can test it out. Woo! When you come down the green slide, you land in a colourful ball pool. Look, Red Mechanical is holding a green ball. This is an orange ball. And here's a purple ball. The fun doesn't stop there. Downstairs, there's more places to run around and climb. Paul's getting the bus ready for a party, so it's time to connect the bus to a generator. A generator is something that uses fuel to generate electricity. That means Paul can turn the disco lights and music on in the bus. Here come the kiddies now, ready to party. Running round the play bus, everyone's very hungry, so it's time for some party food. These tables upstairs are just right for enjoying some sandwiches. Paul places yellow paper plates on the table. One, two, three, four, and again. One, two, three. Four yellow paper plates. Now Paul is placing down orange drinks. One, two, three, four. And they need red straws. One, two, three, four. Four red straws. Yum, yum. Before everyone leaves, there's one last thing to do. Give out the party bags. We can't have a party without party bags. Phew! After all that excitement, 
I'm ready for a lie down. Thanks very much to Paul for showing us around his fantastic double-decker party bus. We'll see you again soon. Bye!